Feminism is about redressing the power imbalance between men and women and emancipating women economically, politically, socially and personally. And that's the kind of feminism I stand up for as a person and as a deputy prime minister in the Belgian government. This pandemic, which at first we called a great leveler, turns out in reality to have underscored and reinforced some age-old stereotypes in our society. Worldwide, women have suffered increased domestic violence. They have shouldered the lion's share of the domestic burden, in particular childcare, and they are by far the majority among the lowest paid workers in our care services. Paid and unpaid care are kept afloat by women. And let's not underestimate the serious financial consequences that this has, for instance, for single mothers or women from ethnic minorities. What this tells me is that we sadly still need Women's Day even today. The world I want to fight for is a world in which every man, every woman and every person who doesn't choose to be defined in those terms can enjoy equal opportunities and can be treated equally in society. That's not a fight I'm going to be able to fight alone. It's a challenge for all of us. We can demolish these barriers together and ensure equal life chances for all. I want to inspire women, particularly young women, to believe in themselves. And I urge them, you, to believe in your ability to make your dreams come true. However big that dream may look, however out of reach that ambition seems, you'll never know if you can get there unless you try. Believe in yourself is so important. I know this from experience. When I was a teaching professor, young, ambitious male students would knock on my door and they would say, Professor, I'm going to do a PhD. What's the next step? They did not ask, can I? Am I good enough? Will I succeed? Women rarely knocked on my door. I had to go looking for them, seek them out and say, you're a person with the right abilities. I see so much talent in you. Why don't you consider going for a PhD? And more often than not, I'd get the response, oh, I don't know, is that really for me? Will I be able to handle it? I promise you, that's not a question most men ask themselves. So I'm saying to all women, believe in yourself and let's break these barriers together, the ones in society as well as the ones in our own heads. And let us, as a society, do everything we can to make sure people, regardless of gender, have the chance to combine work and family, or care for a loved one or a relative in a fulfilling way, without taboos, so that men too can take up their equal share of caring. We have been celebrating Women's Day for 110 years. Every year we celebrate hoping that the next year will be a true celebration of equality for everyone.